Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? You know, recently there's been a lot of talk about Apple ditching the lightning port on their iPhones and going to USB-C or some kind of new magnetic smart connector, either of which would require dongles to use legacy devices. And it got me thinking, what is the most convoluted dongle adapter cable could I make and actually have it work? So that's what we're gonna look at today. So the first thing I have here is a micro SD card that has four photos on it. And I have the micro SD card plugged into a full size SD card adapter. And then I have that plugged into a USB adapter. So it's basically like a flash drive now. And then we'll start real simple. This is just simply a USB A extension cable. And over here, I'm gonna change it to USB C. And then we have a USB C extension cable. And we will adapt it back to A here. This is a gender changer for the male or host end of a 30 pin iPod sync and charge cable. And that's gonna go over here to the 30 pin end. And we're gonna adapt that to lightning. And then we're going to have a lightning extension cable. And then we're going to adapt lightning back to 30 pin. And then we have a 30 pin extension cable. And then we're going to adapt that to micro USB. And then we have a micro USB extension cable, which we are going to turn back into USB A. And then we're gonna plug it into a USB to ethernet adapter. Now, how long do you think we can go with a CAT6 cable? 10 feet? Maybe 25 feet? Let's take a look. Sorry about the shaky cam, but there's really no other way to do this kind of video. Let's head on upstairs, out of the basement. Main floor. Let's go upstairs. And all the way into my office. Well, we come to the end. That is 100 feet of Cat6 cable. Finally, I can put it to rest here. Okay, so what device are we gonna plug it into? Well, I'm gonna go with the iPod Photo. Why is that? Well, it's the most challenging USB host I can think of. Unlike a desktop computer, which has plenty of power to its USB-C ports, or even the iPhone, where you can add power through a powered hub, you can't do any of that with the iPod Photo. You can't plug in a hub of any kind, it won't work. So we are, we are limited to just a little bit of power this device can put out over its USB port and the camera adapter. So I have the camera adapter plugged in. Let's turn it on here and it should immediately go into importation mode. And then the bottom of that USB port, I have just a magnetic pass-through cable, which I have attached to the end of the CAT6 cable here back to USB. So about 15 feet of various USB cables, 30 pin cables, lightning cables, and 100 feet of CAT6 cable. Let's see if it works. Ah, there are the four photos, let's import them. No problems and it goes very fast. This is pretty cool. Let's erase the card downstairs in the basement and it just deleted everything. And that's it. Works great. So the next time you're complaining about having to buy a dongle for a new iPhone, just remember this cable and maybe it won't be so bad. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon. Take care.